Not only is this going to be a fantastic tool to keep the bugs from annoying me, but it is going to keep me nice and cool and ventilated all summer long here in Florida. Okay, now let's see how the butterfly ceiling looks with fresh eyes. We'll look together. Hi there, friends and adventurers. Heather from Heather's Hikes and Adventures. And I'm not sure if you can see behind me, but this video, we are going to be working on a few projects here at camp for Tara specifically three to be exact and let's see what those three projects are because tomorrow it's supposed to be really windy and icky and rainy out I think for a good chunk of the day so it will be a good time to do indoor projects but there is at least one I want to get done today before the rains come because I'd like to try it out against the Florida mosquitoes so stay tuned and check out what we're gonna be doing Okay, so project number one that we're going to try to get knocked out today. Hopefully I have what I need. I did not even open the box or look at the instructions or anything yet. So hopefully it's not something I've got to put off. Fingers crossed. But we are going to be doing a magnetic hands-free mesh screen for the door here. Ideally, I would like something that it fixes quickly and easily so that I can leave the Velcro or whatever it's going to be attaching to up inside the door frame all the time and then just pop the screen on when I'm actually using it um, and not like all the time. So we'll see how that goes, but I like that it's magnetic. I figure that way I can keep it open and just affix it to the outside when I want it to stay open. And the rest of the time it can be closed and it'll actually add a little layer of privacy when the door is open so um <clears throat> that's what we're gonna do i went with white to kind of keep it light and bright and airy especially since spring is coming these i found on clearance at marshall's for like three dollars last fall and what I love about them, aside from the fact that they're butterflies, is that they blend right into my dark ceiling, so you won't notice them from the outside. That's why I haven't done anything to my ceiling, because I want to maintain that stealth factor, and I don't want anything noticeable from outside when um, the windows don't have any coverings on them. <clears throat> the other reason these are significant to me is if you are not a stranger to the channel, you know that I am a thyroid cancer survivor and butterflies signify thyroid cancer survivors. That's our symbol. So I love the idea of having butterflies inside Tara all the time. So I'm gonna try to put these on the ceiling in like a pretty little, I don't know if you can see on there, kind of like a pretty little pattern kind of going across the ceiling like that or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I figure this will be a good one for tomorrow while it's rainy and icky or tonight if it starts raining early. So that's gonna be project number two. Oh, this one is a little stressful, <laughs> but I'm very excited. Oh, I'm finally gonna be a grown up and have an actual workflow and start editing videos on my computer instead of doing every single thing on my phone. I just don't have the storage capacity on my phone. Not to mention I really want to get my photography website launched this year and the only way I can do that is to start actually uploading all of my bazillion memory cards of bazillion photos so that I can start getting them organized and building my website. So that required an external hard drive and I got it as a gift from my very generous parents for Christmas. So I am going to stop putting off the inevitable and the necessary and the overwhelming and dive into this and start loading my photos and videos and all of that on here so that I can actually 
put stuff from my phone and stuff from my camera into the same place and actually do editing on a computer with a mouse and a keyboard versus trying to do everything on my little tiny phone screen, which is a little tricky when it comes to editing. So wish me luck. I'm hoping to at least get started on all three of these projects this weekend. I figured this was a great setting and one of the only opportunities I've had to not work and actually focus on doing some projects. Let's see how it goes. Okay, this is day two after installing my project and I'm really liking it. I just did a row straight across the top this time and it's definitely holding them on better. And I realized that I can actually stack them. And since my table is magnetic, I can just keep them right here and they stay put while I'm driving. So. That'll be very easy for setting up at camp. It took me maybe all of 30 seconds. And then when I want to, I can just adhere this to the door as well and keep them open. So I'm very pleased. Right now I just have the magnets pointed at the doors to keep it open. But if I let go, it'll fall back together. And you can see they go right back to being closed with no gaps. So it's perfect. And then if I want to do the same for my back hatch, I do have some <clears throat> mosquito, oops, it's not focusing right now, but I do have some mosquito netting right back there that I just tie to each end here and then I have it draping across the back too for coverage. So that way I can still get the good cross breeze. I still have privacy, but it's also nice and inviting and light and airy. Okay, this is actually a whole different campsite and a whole different weekend. But here's a different view of the screen door from this angle. I've really been loving it. It's so easy to use to open and close. I can keep it open by affixing the sides to the outside of the car or the minivan, excuse me, Tara, my mistake. No offense. Or I can leave it closed like this when I do not want bugs to get in. And as you can see, it does offer an additional layer of privacy. In fact, I liked it so much. We are looking at screen door number two for this door. Oh, by the way, if you have not already been introduced to Flora the Florida Panther, meet our newest co-pilot, or should I say co-co-pilot with Smokey here. As you can see, we are at a, a beautiful campsite and we have almost the whole campground to ourselves right now, actually. But we are going to install a second screen door over here so that I can open up all of the side doors and back door. I'm going to go ahead and put this screen up as well. And then we will have an open living space that is bug free. I also got these little earth magnet bars instead of the little tiny discs that I was using. I only need a few of them this way and they're a little bit thinner and um, a little bit heavier duty since they're bigger magnets so they don't come down as easily. See I'm tugging on it and it's not budging whereas before if I wasn't careful when I opened it I would accidentally pull the magnets down and then the screen door would come down. I'll show you from the outside in a minute, but first, let's get this one up. All right, so we've got this side on, and as you can see, it's much stronger than it was the first day that I tried installing it. It doesn't come off immediately. And I did put an extra magnet here to keep that gap closed. So I have pretty much full coverage. <clears throat> then I just have my little mosquito netting tied on either side of the hatch for full coverage against the back. <clears throat> now let's add this 
second one. We've got fishing with Becca on. The best idea I think I've ever had having this table. All right, we put the second one on now. Now we just have to cut off the excess length there. I know it's not the most perfect edging, but it doesn't fray at all. So I don't really need to do anything to finish it off. And unless I really specifically point it out, I don't think it's too, too noticeable. So, we officially have a screened in minivan now. Not only is this going to be a fantastic tool to keep the bugs from annoying me, but it is going to keep me nice and cool and ventilated all summer long here in Florida. So I'm working on my butterfly ceiling installation. As you can see here, it's just like a little grouping of glittery black butterflies with adhesive on the back. So my plan is kind of to start out in a narrow spot on this corner and have it get wider and wider and then narrow back out into the opposite corner that way so that it'll kind of be in a diagonal little murmuration, if you will. <laughs> I don't know if that would be I don't know what the butterfly equivalent of a bird murmuration is, but those are my test runs. I do like them. I'm going to see how well they stay up. I may need to reinforce them because it doesn't seem like the adhesive is very strong, but I do want to see how I like it first before I do anything to make it harder to come off. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Okay, status update. What are we thinking so far? <laughs> okay, another status update. I'm actually really liking it so far. What do you all think? I'm pretty pleased with the outcome. And it's not noticeable from the outside since it blends right in to the ceiling. All right, let's do one more point of view from this way. Okay, now let's see how the butterfly ceiling looks with fresh eyes. We'll look together. Oh, I kind of dig it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Be honest, but don't be mean. <laughs> I like that it blends into the ceiling color-wise, so it's not noticeable from the outside, but that it's noticeable once you're in there. All right, past Heather popping back in here at the end since I always forget to do my outros when I do these types of videos. I just want to take a moment to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch. As always, I greatly appreciate your time, and if you like the video, feel free to let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you want to share it, if you want to leave me any feedback, comments, say hi, please do so there down below. If you're not already subscribed, maybe consider that as well because I like to think that my videos 
may be helpful to other people and you might benefit from watching them. So what have you got to lose? All right, as always, thanks again and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.